to you, Mackenzie, reporting there. Now, ignore Russell Brand and vote. That's the message to young Londoners just a year until the next general election. A charity in the capital says the famous comedian was wrong to discourage young voters recently and says getting politicians to take to Twitter is the way to engage them. The campaign has won the support of some famous backers. Here's Charlotte Franks. Well, I think you save time and, and resign now. College Green. It's opposite the Palace of Westminster, and it's the place where everybody hears about what's happening in politics. But this isn't the only place to find out what's been discussed in the political world. A new wave of young activists are trying to get us to talk about it on social media, and they want politicians to do the same. 50% of young Londoners in our survey have told us that they would like politicians to talk about their manifestos and policy promises on Twitter, so in 140 characters, on YouTube and on Instagram. If all the parties delivered their election promises in this way, 42% would be more likely to vote. Sophie and Emma feel disengaged with what goes on inside the House of Commons. If a politician tweets, it might not have to be specifically about politics, it could be about what they're doing in the day. It really makes you feel like they're more of a human, like we all are. I think that politicians could really get involved in the platforms that young people use. I'm here to tell you that I always vote. The campaigners have been calling on well-known celebrities to back them, and they've also been asking young people what would make them vote. Out in College Green, we found more willing participants. It's not the first time politicians have tried to engage with young people. Heath Hill was closely involved in trying to encourage young Londoners to vote. So will it work? If you actually understand the issues that they care about and then use social media to highlight those issues and why it's important to vote, then I think actually you will see an impact. Those behind the campaign hope that politicians take them up on their social media challenge. Charlotte Franks, BBC London News.